Hi, Graham Roberts here. Uh, do you know that database design is actually a mathematics? Normalization is a process you may or may not yet have heard of, and it uh, kind of scares people. And the reason for this is because actually normalization is derived from mathematics by a man called Cod. Now, patterns is what really mathematics is about. You may have thought it was about numbers. It's not really. It's about patterns. And so in our database design, what we have to do is really, ultimately, get into mathematics. We have to look at the patterns of our data and know and predict what can and can't happen with them. But all of that is a bit later because the first thing we need to do is decide what we want to do. And so the first thing you should do when you want to design a database is ask not what tables or columns do I need but think what do I need to know. Don't take this too lightly because you might forget something and make a mistake. And one thing we do know about database design is that mistakes cost quite a lot of time and money. So, instead of worrying about patterns, worry about what you actually need to know. Because a database is really about storing knowledge. It's about information storage and retrieval and manipulation, but it's about knowledge. It's what we care about. In my little illustration, I'm going to be discussing uh, basically a retail system because the information that we want to know is going to be about sales, products, and shops and that's a very clear simple place to start. The ERD tool you can see here is one that I didn't make and it's free and uh, made by Case in 2002. I'm just using it because it facilitates this tutorial. But you'll see in Elements Add that you can add an entity relationship and entities need a little bit of explanation an entity is really anything we need to know about. So an entity is a type of information that we actually are going to put into our database. Now there are only four kinds. There are people, there are events, there are locations, and there are things. Yeah, anything else. So the four things are people, events, and locations. Now one thing we know about events are that they usually are associated with time. So what kind of event happens in retail? Yeah, it's a sale. So that is going to be on a certain time. So sales, at some point, we're going to need to know the time and date of that. And we can say that a sale is going to be made in a shop. But hang on, we need a customer to make that sale so that the customer buys something. The shop uh, will have products in it and the customer will buy the product. So a sale will be of products. So really the sales are made by the customer of products in the shops. Now a vendor will be someone like a salesperson who sells to the customer the product in the shop. So you might like to stop this for just a moment and I'm going to ask this question. So if there are four things, people, things, events and locations, 
Which of those four here? Stop and have a think and then restart and I'll tell you what I think they are. Well, the shop is a location. The sale is an event and products are of course things and customers are people yeah customers are people now a vendor is also a person but what we're going to do is really um, not worry about the vendors for most of this tutorial and the parts of the tutorial because it doesn't really help us very much so I'm going to delete vendors so we can just focus on these four because they're the four things or should say rather the four entities you can have in a database these are examples of those four entities people's sorry people events things and locations so this first lesson has been about the entities that we need in our database when we want to design one we're asking what do we need to know and what we need to know are about people events things and locations and we try to narrow that down with specific people specific events specific things and specific locations and we call those entities